But I learned some news during that break that makes so very little sense to me. I'm almost upset that it's breaking news because it's not fair to one of the people involved. Uh, Steve Wilkes, it was announced er, just moments ago on a, a conference call with Kyle Shanahan, the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. Steve Wilkes, the defensive coordinator of the 49ers, former interim head coach with the Carolina Panthers, uh, he was fired. Make it make sense. Not 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 to be dramatic, but the, the first thing that popped into my brain is this seems like one of those, you know, quintessential bad things happening to seemingly good people in the NFL. Now, I don't know Steve Wilkes personally, but everyone seems to, at every stop along the way that he's worked, uh, rave about him. Right about how much he cares, uh, how how he handles things, and he's been put in some bad situations. Right, he was fired after one year in Arizona as the head coach, and that one year he was given Josh Rosen as his starting quarterback, and he went, didn't even have full control over his staff either. One season there, he gets the boot. He goes to he's he's on the Carolina staff when when they fire Rule, he takes over, he wins six games down the stretch, and doesn't get the job. Handles that as about well as well as you could, at least publicly. I'm sure he said some choice words privately, but publicly he handles it about as well as you can. He ends up in San Fran as the defensive coordinator. What does he do this year? And I mean, maybe this is surface level stats, but the surface says a lot here. Uh, the Niners give up the third fewest points per game in the NFL. They make it to the Super Bowl where all he does is essentially bottle up Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid completely for a half, and then their touchdown that gets them going comes off a special teams gaffe where they have to go all of like 13 yards to score the touchdown. Mm-hmm. He He's set up to be in a horrendous situation in, in overtime by the Niners electing to get the ball uh, to start overtime, and then only scoring three points, which means now you're going up against Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, that offense, and you know they're going to go for it on every fourth down, which just makes it that much more difficult to get off the field. They do as, as, I mean, whatever on that last drive. They gave it up, but again, set up to fail, and, and now he's fired. I don't know if we've seen a more obvious scapegoat situation, right? It, it strikes me as, well, we didn't win the Super Bowl again. Something's got to change. We're not going to change the head coach, who's also essentially the offensive coordinator. Uh, not going to change the quarterback because he costs us two dimes and a nickel. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're, we're the What are we? Uh, defensive coordinator, you're gone. Like, that's all you can do. And that's not a good reason to fire a guy of, I have to look busy. I have to, right? It's it's bringing up an Excel spreadsheet when your boss walks by your cubicle just going like, ah, TPS reports. And it's like, you don't even do TPS reports. Why are you saying that? You're just looking busy. You just minimized Minesweeper. Steve Wilkes is fired. And, you know, the the the, the real shame of it is, it's this late. Because guess who's filled just about all of the coordinator positions in the NFL? Every other team. He's being forced into like a sabbatical or a dramatic step back in his cry. He could go be a position coach, I'm sure. He could go mm-hmm. analyst, senior uh, assistant, whatever. But, th- I mean, he's Steve Wilkes. He deserves to be at least a coordinator in the NFL after leading one of the best defenses in the league last year. And and before you give me the Brock Purdy argument, which is, well, anybody could have could have done well with that defense, right? The, the Brock Purdy, anybody could play quarterback when you have those weapons. Anybody could be a good defensive coordinator with the Niners. Their secondary is not very good. No, it's not. And Talanoa Hufunga, who is very good, got hurt very early in the year, and they still turned in a pretty darn good defensive situation. Yes, their front seven is very good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he was out there making uh, chicken salad out of chicken you-know-what, but he was still executing a defense that didn't have everything taken care of. It wasn't the the 2,000 Ravens out there. And one of his starting middle linebackers blows out his Achilles in the first quarter coming <laughs> off the sideline after a punt. Yeah, can you imagine? 
he's probably telling his his family, if Dre doesn't pop, if Dre Greenlaw doesn't pop his Achilles running onto the field, not even in a play, my defense would have carried us to a Super Bowl championship. And then his phone rings, and he's like, oh, Kyle wants to talk. What? No. What? Click. I just got fired. That's that's an absurd change of events. And And you know what? It would be it's I mean, I was gonna say there's there has to be a way to work him into the Carolina defensive staff, but there's real I just I think too many bridges were burned. He was he was rubbing it in faces, subtweeting. I, I the, the Tepper and him, I don't think it's water under the bridge. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he as a person, like if in a vacuum, would be an addition to the staff, but I don't I don't see how the the social dynamics of that work. So bummer, man. Bummer. Anything to add, Dennis? So I was actually looking over some of the like advanced numbers this year uh, yep. for San Francisco real fast defensively. So they were tied for second in the NFL in takeaways per game at 1.7. Uh, so just the, the best in the NFL is 1.8. Yep. So you're right up there. Uh, yards per attempt, fifth best in the NFL. Um, also third in the NFL – I'm sorry, and third down conversion percentage for opposing teams. Opposing teams are actually were – at 42%, so they're 27th in the NFL, so they weren't great in terms of third down percentage. Uh, yards per rush, they weren't that great, but also teams just weren't carrying the ball a whole lot because they often had leads. Uh, but also, again, points per game and points per play, if you want to break it down even further, third best in the NFL. That must be, be firing stats, apparently. That's that's how you get fired. You just be really good at your job but not have, have a good relationship with Shanahan, I guess. That's how you get fired. I'm, I'm trying to uh, – because – It's it's crazy because Shanahan's the one that made the mistakes. Like, it was Shanahan's offense that sputtered. True. You know, it was True. Shanahan's offense that sputtered, not Steve Wilkes. Again, you mentioned Steve uh, – the Shanahan's not going to fire himself. He can't fire and, himself. And he had to look busy, so he fired Steve Wilkes. He's the one Scapegoat. that – He's the one that made the decision, like you said, to to kick off or to, to receive the first, you know, kick to, off yeah, in overtime, start overtime yep. and all that kind of stuff. He's the one that made those mistakes, not Steve Wilkes. He said it's a, it's a scapegoat thing. You only allowed one touchdown and less than 20 points against Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl in regulation. Th- this is this how is, is how, that fireable? This is how little sense this makes. Uh, I, you know, I bring it up all the time. I have group chats where uh, any football news just gets reacted to by a bunch of buddies. Uh, somebody put that, chat, the, that, that news in there, and the first response is, has to be more, more to the story. Has to be. And, and I don't know if we'll ever get it. If there's, you know, added information we learn later, we can revisit this conversation, and maybe we won't be as as tough. But knowing what we know now, I I don't get it. I don't get it unless it's you know truly like, you know the the um, layover in the airport test. Like Kyle Shanahan and Steve Wilkes just can't spend two hours at an airport bar waiting for their delayed flight together because they hate each other. Unless it's something like that. Uh, Big I, airport. I, I don't get it. Yeah, exactly. You go to Hudson News. <laughs> I'll go to Chili's to go. We, we'll see each other at the gate. Yeah. 